Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Hi and welcome to Sundays at the Chateau, at the Chateau de la Lande, where this week I've got something a little bit different for you because recently, just before lockdown happened, my friends Frizo and Levan came to stay. And Levan I've known for about 10 years, he's a great friend. He owns the most magnificent Georgian restaurant in Amsterdam called Batoni King Kali. I really recommend going after lockdown. And as he was here, I grabbed him and forced him to show us some delicious Georgian cuisine, which I think you'll really love. I've been to visit Georgia because of him. I went with my mother and with Michael, with Frieza, a whole group of us went. It was extraordinary. You can see here that I'm out with Michael Potts, Frieza and Levan in a wonderful restaurant. Tbilisi, the capital city of Georgia, did not know what had hit it. We were even there with Cyril, my local neighbour here, who is a concert pianist, because he was performing in a series of woodwind concerts that Levan arranges each year in Georgia. And it was such an amazing time. I even found myself watching Cyril and Levan perform in the home of the Japanese ambassador to Georgia. I can thoroughly recommend going there on holiday if you're looking for somewhere new to visit. It is the most extraordinarily beautiful country. Here, I feel very lucky that we have churches that date from the 1100s. And there, I was visiting monasteries that date from the 4 and 500s. It was extraordinary. The beauty is amazing, but most of all, the food. The wine is unlike anything I've tried in France. It's delicious. And the food is out of this world. One of the best cuisines I've ever tried. And I even did a cookery course with Mummy and with Frizo. We had the most fantastic afternoon. And I'm so happy that Levan's going to be able to share this extraordinary world cuisine with you today. Also, I'd like to add, Levan has managed to do this using every implement we have in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Marie's gonna have a fit. <laughs> I brought cremali for you. Ooh. It's a, a, a sauce that Ooh. we use for everything. everything. Bread, meat, uh, salads, and it's a, a, it's a, a fruit. It's a, a type of a plum. Mm. I don't know the name uh, in English. What is it again in Georgia? Cremali. Cremali. This is ajika. This is like spicy chutney. Uh, also, all completely vegan. Uh, also used uh, mostly with meat, but again with anything you like. Well, I brought some uh, fenugreek. Oh, I love fenugreek. Uh, I brought some saffron. Mm. They're all from Georgia. Uh, and I bought uh, Svanetian salt, which is uh, salt with. Uh, seasoned with some other spices. Let's have a look at this. Yes. Oh, yes. that man is very happy about the salt. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how is it in a house this size? We ran out of table salt, and what are you holding there? We ran out of table salt. Um, Levan, stupidly, really, Levan thought we'd have salt in the kitchen, so <laughs> all the other ingredients, yeah. and didn't bring salt, and we'd run out. We just had a tiny, tiny, tiny bit left. So we did have rock salt and I put it through the Thermomix and what I've done is I've created salt powder. <laughs> I was quite pleased with my ingenuity though, right? Yeah, I know. What You've I been quite do? smug about it ever since. I did that. <laughs> we are about to start cooking. This is the meat mm -hmm. for hikari. Mm. Uh, this is uh, mixed beef and pork, mm -hmm. minced with onions, mm -hmm. with black pepper, salt and caraway seeds. Yum. And some water mm -hmm. to later create the broth or how to say it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is done. Dough is done for hinkale, which we have to cut now and okay. roll and make it very thin and mm -hmm. round. 
so that we can wrap. Basically what we're gonna do is this. And then, this we don't need. And then we go like this. Mm -hmm. And go like this. And make it very thin and flat because this dough gives uh, us, uh, allows us to be very thin. Okay. Because it's, it, it's it, um, made with so very little water. Okay. Amount of water. Mm -hmm. So, uh, something like this. And then you put some meat inside. Yum. And uh, I have a um, wound on my fingers. Yes. So I w I'm not uh, technically prepared. To oh, do I this. don't know. You look pretty technically prepared. That's, to that's me. what happens if you're untechnically prepared, right? Yeah, I can't use all. 100%. Right. Well, would you so, like me? <gasps> Whoa. That is, was one uh, of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, this is Ginkali. This is called Ginkali. We don't know where exactly it comes from. Okay. We say it's Georgian. But uh, also neighbor countries, uh, especially the mountains, do Ginkali. Uh, in uh, neighbor country languages, which are all completely different in Caucasus region, there are 40 different languages for them. The word Hinkali exists in different uh, forms, like Tsingal, Chingal, Singalo, yeah. and means probably something uh, like a, a bag with something inside. Okay. Because in, in Armenian you have Singalo huts, which is a dough with some green stuff inside. Okay. It has nothing to do with uh, Hinkali, but the Singalo and Hinkali cannot be two different words. Can't be a coincidence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like common origin. Uh, though in, uh, in a, a northern east neighbor, it's a very, very small country called Dagestan, which is yeah. not really existing now because another country swallowed um, <laughs> some politics. There they call Hingal, Chingal, I think, yeah. but has nothing to do with this food. Oh, really? It's not... So, an, the so word, basically the word is like dumpling, maybe. So uh, yeah, the word, yeah, the uh, dumpling could mean... They, yeah, say, basically they say the word came from the Mongolian Empire time, mm -hmm. but before the word came yeah. into Georgia, they were already doing something like this, and then okay, this and food then adopted they... that name. Got it. Because okay. uh, it if you go in a... Uh, old dictionary of, uh, of, of Georgian words, uh -huh. Georgian into Georgian. Uh, there you meet uh, a, a man, a very famous man from 17th century who wrote that book. He explains about this food uh, and says that in the old times this was called something else. And that, okay. that, that word is there. Which is very well, you've done a lot of reading about these. Uh, I mean, yeah. they are worth it. I'll give you that. We have meat here. Yeah. And I, I said a it's a beef and uh, beef pork, and pork with uh, caraway, mm. uh, with uh, salt, pepper, and onion. Mm -hmm. um, normally, that's a, that's a mountain style. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to the city, then it comes the coriander inside. Okay. Uh, oh, really? In the mountains, they don't because it don't they don't grow. They okay. are so high. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, for mm -hmm. those who, is, who are vegan, mm -hmm. not eating meat, I prepared uh, the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. The champignons, we cut uh, some small uh, chops and then uh, we fry, fry it on the pan with uh, white onion or yellow mm -hmm. onion, or how do you call it? Uh, onion. Well, this There's is, white this is red. Onions, that's red, yes. Okay. So yeah. This is either a brown onion or uh, white onion. White, white onion, uh, chili, uh, pepper, salt, mm. just to make it spicy because I think champignons needs, need uh, um, to be spicy, it, yeah. it's something. Otherwise, it it, it has no uh, no soul <laughs> in this particular food. Okay. Like oh, a soulless mushroom. Okay, yeah. taking the soul. Okay, hang okay. on. Added soul. No, no, no. So what I we do? Slow, slow you slow come back. in the a center, uh -huh. and you take one and two and three you and keep folding four. Folding behind. Yes. 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 And around your thumb each time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it stays something like this and you can finish as you like. So then you get a ginkali. Mm -hmm. I must say this is not the perfect one because again I apologize for my finger. Yes. He was uh, attacked for anyone who's interested. He was attacked by a bin bag. Oh, I thought you were going to say a bear at the very least. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. So we, we can we can like not to mix with uh, meat. Yeah. Now we don't know what's inside. Else. True. We can yeah. we can flatten. Okay. So they're different. Oh, clever. That's what so we do you in the restaurant. So you can see the mushroom one has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, because it's made with uh, not so much water, mm. it's a very strong dough. It allows us to be extremely thin. This is this is how thin it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. So okay. It's almost transparent. So that's that's the trick of uh, making the dough. Okay. So uh, let's mix this. Mm -hmm. So you want, would you like to make? I definitely yes. want to make it. Yeah. So here we it's go. It's quite a generous amount of um, filling. Yes. Yes. It can be Ooh. So put in the center. The, that's bring in the sense to the center. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 And continue like that. And press hard so that this, they stick with each other. Okay. I think I was pressing hard enough. I mean, it looks like you're doing a pretty good job. I think she's doing perfect. Um, I've got a little bit there that got soggy. How <laughs> do you do this? Mine is all a mess. Okay, no, then this, last you this is great. Top bit this off. is great. And now Ready? you go here yeah. a little bit down. Yeah. And you press. Okay. So that uh, it will not open. This is we don't need. Hey. There we go. That's made by well Stephanie. Done. Well, I feel you kind of did yes. a bit. <laughs> and what we do now? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I'm baking the dumpling. This is a boiling water with some salt inside. Nothing, nothing special. It's just water, and we put this inside. And we have to make sure it doesn't stick downstairs mm -hmm. on the on the on the. And um, what I do is I'm boiling it for six minutes. Okay, cutting in the lump for six minutes. Yes. So why six minutes? Uh, why I like it done like that because mm -hmm. meat stays soft um, uh, and it doesn't turn into meatball uh, hardness. Mm. Yeah, because it, it has to be very soft inside. Because if it's one minute more, even if it's thirty seconds more uh, in, a, in a in a water, it it will change the taste. It, not that it become bad or better. It's just another taste. Different. Yes. Mm. So what the the hikari I do, it has to be this amount of time in the in the water. Okay. Um, Six minutes coming up. Yes. You said you added water because it makes a really lovely stock. Yes. Um, does that make the dumpling soggy or not Yeah, the as... whole idea of uh, meat, ginkali, mm -hmm. is that uh, you have to uh, take with your hand or with anything you like. Mm. Normally it's eaten with a hand, with like mm -hmm. three fingers, you take it into this uh, nipple. Uh, and you it upside down, you okay. bite, and then you have to drink. Oh, cool! Both. Yes, I didn't realize there was a yes. whole routine to eating yeah, it the, too. The, the, yeah. Did you hear that? Oh. There is a whole uh, uh, mm. rules of how to eat the king curry. First time I ever ate king curry was in Levan's flat in Amsterdam. I invited a few friends around, and it was so delicious. And they were all Georgian, and they all knew exactly how to eat. None of them. No, there was. There was definitely the Georgian DJ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah don't yes. tell me they that, were that, Georgian. That. My daughter. Yeah, right. Yes. She's Georgian. Yes. And so we were we were uh, eating it exactly mm. as I was watching them do it and, and yeah. uh, taking the juice out first and then eating it. And then I was eating the whole thing, the entire thing. Are you not supposed to eat the whole thing? Well, at the very end of the meal, I looked around and they'd all left the little end Nubbin. I ate everything because yes. I love them, but then I was laughed at by everybody who said that you only ate this if you were like a really seriously greedy person. Oh. 
and I'd eat them. But I thought you said they're your favourite, so why wouldn't you want the whole thing? Right. Yeah. Yes, I like the dough. Yes. There's well. a like similar the story about Cornish pasties because um, because they were made to be like a meal in one. Yeah. The little nubbin on the end of the Cornish pasty is what you're supposed to hold it by. Yes. And because they were eating it with filthy hands from whatever they were doing, that's the bit that you're not supposed to eat. And I imagine it's probably similar. This must be really similar. Nothing. Yeah, because you all mocked me, didn't you, Levan? All of you. Yeah, you might pretend you didn't now. It's just on another one. Ah, classic technique. There it is, it's floating now. Mmm. Yes. Oh, please, sir, can I have some mm. more? <laughs> I thought I'd be ready with the plate. Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's. let's. Uh, it takes one, yeah. one minute and 45 seconds left. Okay. The first one, I, I'm eating the first drink. I have to check. Maybe it's disaster. Hang on, no, there might be a revolution in the kitchen if you try and eat the first one. But he has to show us how it's done, to be fair. I know how it's done. <laughs> Since he first introduced them to me in that fateful dinner party, but I keep going to his restaurant in Amsterdam. To wait. Okay. Uh, let's prepare more then. Right. Yes. Okay, Kat, it's time for you to make one. Uh, You've got this, Kat. I know you have. Here you are. <laughs> yes. Yes. And continue, but already press here. Okay. To, yes. But don't worry, it won't break. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I really like the encouragement. Yeah, no, this coming. is going really well. This is the best. Yeah, thing. keep up. Major yes. Lalan pride here. Yes, great. That's, yes. that's just perfect. Oh, and <laughs> I had the same last minute problem. And then at the top, what did you do where you went? Yeah, something, you know, here. Oh, sorry. Further so down. that. So, we can, so there's no yeah. air bubble. Look at that! Yeah. Wow! I mean, again, it feels like he did the difficult bit. <laughs> yeah, the this first one! This is our one. first pinkali. We put here. And I, I must say, it's, it, doesn't sound, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, does it? Does it does not look bad. Some would say it looks good. <laughs> Pull a little. That's on you, made, right? Uh, that was mine. Yeah, that's mine. That's made by you. Yeah. This is how we, we eat chinkari in, in okay. Georgia. So you go upside down like this. Yep. You bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. How are you finding my folding there? Fantastic. Uh, then inside is full of with, with the juice. Absolutely yeah? full of stock. Look there. Which means yeah. it needs to be empty otherwise when you bite it will explode and it will be a, a mess that's what you do mm. Mm. and you continue to eat <laughs> and we continue to stare wishing we had one <laughs> so you see he did it the polite way and yeah. it just Less took me till the end nothing. of the dinner party to notice that everyone had done this except for me i had an empty plate oh 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 we've got another one this is the christmas timer i like it very much and this is the mushroom one this is with the mushroom there it is waiting for us floating away you made this one it's yours though I well, present it to you as a one. gift. Oh, Kat. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most beautiful things anyone's ever given to me. <laughs> mm. 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 Caraway. Yeah, don't use it enough. No. When cooking. Every time I eat anything with caraway, I think, don't use it enough. Mm. Such delicious stock. Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> So we get to do the fun bit and land on the boring yeah. bit. Well, it's um, making kinkali is really um, 
lots of power is needed and yeah. time. Now I'm trying to be not so messy, but normally my kitchen when I was doing this at home was completely white. But this is the heart of your restaurant, isn't it? Pink yes. Valley. So that must take a lot of manpower to get all of that done. Well, uh, we have, uh, since we do hundreds of them yeah. a day, mm -hmm. we have a dough maker yes. and dough roller too. A oh, roller, okay. Yes. So that and, must make a huge difference. Yes, and we make a, a, a dough, basically a carpet of the dough. Yeah, and then you just cut out. We cut, we directly do this yes. from yes. the dough roller, and then we have a cutting uh, gadget. Mm. And we cut and cut and cut until we make a couple of hundreds of them. Uh, Next kitchen gadget for business, mm -hmm. right, Kat? Uh, yeah. And then we also have a Hinkali wrapper. Seriously? Uh, yes, it's made in Georgia. Where else? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because which other country would make Hinkali wrapper? When made, the kinkali are served just covered with a little black pepper. It is honestly one of my favorite foods in the world. I really think you should try it. And here we have walnuts, and we're gonna make mm. walnut paste. Yeah. Uh, walnut paste will be with uh, onion, two cloves of garlic. Uh, we need some uh, fenugreek. We need uh, dry coriander and saffron. Uh, and some water, and that paste, yeah. which is the, the very this very very typical Georgian, you can use it as sauce on different dishes, chicken, yep. turkey, fish. I don't know. Uh, this in our case, yeah, will uh, will go on the on the eggplants. Over here. Yay! We are now um, uh, we put some salt on it, and the yeah. salt will take out the liquid. Mm -hmm. We're gonna squeeze them and then we're gonna fry them on the pan grill delicious and then when yeah, they are you done can see the water coming out yeah that's the, that's mm. that's what happens when you put salt on it mm -hmm. and then we're gonna roll great you uh, sound and, like a man with a plan man with a plan and mm -hmm. forgot the pomegranate again oh we've got pomegranate i think okay let's, i'll go and find let's, it let's, let's, that sounds um promising <laughs> okay. good news good. This is the walnut paste mm -hmm. uh, and uh, lots of different spices. Yeah. So we're so just we, at the squeezing yeah, we rinse, uh, stage of the aubergine. The salt. Yes. And then and this is uh, what we don't need in the eggplant or aubergine. Okay. Uh, because when it's too full with the water or the mm -hmm. juice, it will take ages until it will be grilled. I see. So oh, that's, that's a tip. Well, that it is it ages to get grilled. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. Quick, little bit. Yeah. And then, as you see, lots of juice is coming out. Lots of juice is coming out. If you squeeze hard, <laughs> of course. You better do this with hand gloves because it will bite you on your skin because the juice is of the eggplant is uh, it has this ability. Oh. Huh. Did you know that? I did not know that. What a day. I will wash my hands so that it won't bite. Okay. And so the secret to this is that you wrung them out beforehand? Yes. And you're not skimping on the oil? So Levan's made quite a big claim. Yesterday Marie made us orgasmic figs. And Levan is saying that his aubergine uh, is going to be as orgasmic not the aubergine, but the, the, the spices which I but brought the from spices. Georgia. Yeah. There are aphrodisiac spices. Good to know. Which will bring our, all of us in a very good mood. Good to know. Well, well for context, Stephanie and I, <laughs> Stephanie and I, have been doing the important job of licking the bowl oh, it's so on the good. walnut spread, and it's, it's crazy good. Pretty you bloody the spices. good. I think so. Levan's secret blend of, <laughs> of aphrodisiac <laughs> spices. These aubergines are his equivalent of your orgasmic figs. Yeah, he's making orgasmic aubergines. Excellent. So we need to see what you're going to think of them. That goes in there. No, no. And <laughs> there. And there. It's impossible to impossible. No. Marie, there's an actual leg showing where the middle is. No. <laughs> 
Marie has arrived to start cooking and Levan is still cooking and we haven't really properly started filming so we're going to have to share the kitchen and this is this is really involving a wall to rival that in Berlin. Right, the spices. Yeah, it's a it's a wall of aphrodisiac spices. <laughs> Absolutely so sorry, impenetrable. It's nothing personal. <laughs> uh, even if you would try, <laughs> breaking my heart. How the Elton John song? Oh, don't go breaking my heart. Yes. Even if you want to break my heart, you can't. Oh, is that because it's made of steel? No, I don't have it at all. Oh, it's missing. <laughs> Is that a specifically Georgian complaint, or is that just you? It, it is. It is very Georgian to say how no heart person you are. It just means you are a very cold person. You have no heart. You do know I like to cook them at quite quickly. Are you, are you suggesting that this side of the table isn't going to be quiet? Yes. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautifully done. It is. Yes. That is. Yeah. If you say to yeah. yourself, it is beautifully done. This is. Yeah. We just finished now the eggplants. Ah, oh, we're uh, doing the aubergine. <laughs> aubergine, yes, aubergine. Uh, we have... At home we always do like this. In the restaurant we roll it. Yes, but at home you fold uh, it. Fold, yeah. That's what my grandmother was doing always. So putting this... And that is a walnut paste. Walnut paste with at least 10 different spices. Uh, and we, we do the, the dressing... Later. So can you tell me what's in the walnut paste? Yes. Tell me. We have walnuts, fenugreek, saffron, dry coriander, uh, vinegar, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, chili. Yum. Water. And then all blended together. All to blended together um, so that you, you, you create something like this. We can also uh, make a sauce of the walnuts mm -hmm. if we add more water. Yes. And keep of blending. Course, of course. Uh, logically also more spices otherwise water will uh, kill everything um, and this is like uh, this is like very uh, a base of many many other dishes also in, in Georgia in Georgian uh, cuisine so uh, and it's very healthy and it's vegan and it it's absolutely uh, delicious yeah, they are these are so easy to make. It's amazing. And look how many we're getting through. It's great. It looks beautiful, green and red, together on this uh, not so happy color of. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> a not the... happy color. No, uh, it tastes also amazing. Uh, pomegranates with walnuts. It's it's a uh, very typical uh, to also in, in, in Georgian cuisine. Are you going to employ me, Levan? Oh, uh, depends on which terms we can agree on that. Well, I'm very expensive, but I'm a superb aubergine folder. I think your, your restaurant deserves the finest aubergine folder. I see a big, big future. <laughs> Perfect! Yeah, that's called experience. When you directly oh, say... It? No, how do you know what that's called? We, in England, we call that fluke. Fluke, which means? Just pure luck. No, no. Yeah, uh-huh. No. Yeah. I said yeah. four little plates. Did I say that? You said four little plates. So how many do we have now? We have four little plates. I mean, now he's just showing off. <laughs> okay. So that's what we do. Mm. Okay. Yes, you can do this. It's extremely easy. Are you suggesting I can only do the extremely easy bits? No, you fold it, uh, you, you rub the thing out of it. Not so easy. And you do this place. Looks so pretty. It looks like Christmas. Yeah, this is what the color does. Yeah. And it's all nature. It's no... Um, Artificial it, color. Yes, it, that's what nature does. Without yeah. any human involvement. So, that's how red pomegranate can be. Mm. And it's beautiful. 
I think I might make this at Christmas as an appetizer, just because of the lovely uh, yeah, Christmas colours. Yeah, always in Georgia during Christmas. This always. Really. Any any time, but uh, in any uh, Christmas, New Year's dinner, you end up somewhere's family. They will always have this. Mm. Am I allowed to try this bit now? Yes, of course. I've been looking forward to this moment. Oh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> That's what happens. So good. It's so good. I think we have the appetizers for the next Christmas. Definitely. I hope you enjoyed those delicious dishes as much as we did, but I don't think that's possible because we actually got to eat the kinkali and the aubergine, which I honestly think looks so beautiful for Christmas. I'm definitely going to do it at Christmas this year. I will force the recipes out of Levan and post them here for you. And next week, we'll be carrying on with Georgian cuisine because he also taught us how to make kachapuri. And it was all supposed to be in the same video, but it turned into a complete saga, which involved us halfway through realizing we couldn't do it without fire up the bread oven and it was amazing and such good fun and I hope you enjoy that next week. Lots and lots of love to you all from La Land. Bye for now. A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Laland who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Laland, Yadel and Ether, Alice Allen, Anna, Brandon and John, Michael, Dan Banda, Lauren Barnes, Vince Barone, Denise Behrens, Linda C. Bradley, Candice and Ed Borkoski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Elle Fine, Caroline Furster, Abigail Grant, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer Laland, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Long, Bard, Frank Martin, Kim Matlock, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Nori, JC Award, MP, Maureen Palmer, Tamara Price, Amin Rahman, Tonya Renee, Yvonne and Peter Richards, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Elizabeth Scanlan, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Jenny Stevenson, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Greg Wood, David Young, and Ludovico Zordinazzo. And thank you to all of you.